From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us on this Monday, September 30th, 2013. In the news, a Fairbanks man has filed a complaint with the Alaska Public Offices Commission contending that Fairbanks mayoral candidate Vivian Stiver should have listed a local motel as a contributor to her campaign. Ron Arnold lodged his complaint after hearing the owner of the ranch motel call into a radio program and tell listeners they can donate to Stiver's campaign by dropping off donations at the motel. Arnold's complaint says the use of the motel as a drop-off point for donations is an in-kind contribution, as is the use of employee time. The chief of the Fairbanks Police Department is reacting to the documents filed in court this week regarding the possible innocence of the men convicted of murdering John Hartman. Chief Lauren Zager says, or Laren Zager that is, that while the investigation looks like it was complete and comprehensive, it's hard to tell from years old police reports exactly what could have been missed. Zager says that the department is waiting to take the lead from the DA. And as we mentioned last week, the state will hold four public hearings on proposed regulations to deal with air pollution in the interior. The regulations include new rules for wood stoves that are to be installed in areas where pollution is higher. DEC officials are trying to come up with a plan to cut pollution while not restricting people's need to heat their homes. The first hearing is Wednesday from 5 to 7 p.m. at Wedgwood Resort. Another will be held October 16th from 5 to 7 p.m. at North Pole Middle School. And a quick look at the Fairbanks weather for today cloudy, scattered rain showers, patchy fog, highs in the 30s. Tonight, periods of rain and snow overnight with patchy fog, lows in the lower 30s. Tomorrow, periods of rain, patchy fog again, and highs in the lower 40s. The extended outlook is cloudy through the week, maybe some snow on Friday. Highs in the 40s, lows around 30, and the aurora activity is forecast to be low. And that's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. Remember, for more news, sports, or weather, download our free mobile app for Android and Apple devices. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to take CPR when you can, please, and enjoy the rest of your day.